Hi, Dr. Brian Heverlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy, and I've done several videos about nosebleeds or epistaxis. Um, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how we cauterize someone's nose in the office. It's really a pretty simple and not that uncomfortable procedure in most circumstances. Uh, in the nose, we have these prominent blood vessels that run along the very front surface of the septum, and when people are having recurrent bouts of bleeding from those, we like to go in and cauterize those vessels in order to keep the problem from recurring. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you through how that's done in the office. This is a numbing spray called Tetracaine mixed with some aspirin. Put a little of that in your nose. All right, just got a cotton ball with that same medication. I'm going to put that in. bit. Good. Just going to get that packing out of the nose. Okay. All right. And then this is the silver nitrate stick. Just going to rub it around those place where the prominent vessels are in the front part of the nose. It may start to sting or burn a little bit. Just a dry Q-tip to kind of wipe off some of the excess. A little bit of blood from that spot. Get that a little bit more. Yeah. So seeing a little bit of blood when that hat when we're cauterizing this it helps me know that we're taking care of the right vessels in the right spot. Just to make sure we've gotten it thorough enough. Okay, in on that spot, so a little more. Still need to do a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna put a little ointment in there. A little glob of ointment. I'm just gonna kind of smear this really just up the crease of the nose. Just kind of pinch that to rub it around a little bit. Okay, that's it. Awesome. As you can see, our patient did very well. Tolerated the procedure well with very minimal discomfort. The vessels in the front part of the nose have been sealed, and hopefully that'll stop bleeding forever. Continuing to keep the vessels moist and the front part of the nose moist using an ointment like a little bit of Vaseline. Uh, can really help prevent further bleeds and allow things to heal properly. Uh, please contact us here at Lexington ENT if you're bothered by recurrent episodes of nosebleeds, and many times we can take care of it with this simple technique. Thank you.